my name is Melissa Bassinelli. I'm the superintendent of schools for San Juan Unified School District. As a superintendent, my role is supporting the vision and direction of our schools and our staff so that we are doing our best work for students and our community so our students are growing, thriving, and ultimately achieving in life. I'm in my 25th year in San Juan Unified and I've just really enjoyed having opportunities in San Juan along the way in my 25 year career. I've always really enjoyed working with children, but it didn't really start until I was in my internship at Sacramento State University as a social work intern. And that um, opportunity led me to a non-public school where I started to um, do support groups for students who were referred to this non-public school because they weren't being successful in a regular education setting. And I knew that it was something that I wanted to continue. I just wasn't sure what that path was. I came across a posting for San Juan Unified School District and it was right in my community where I lived and I wanted to give it a go and so I applied and that was really my entry into San Juan was as a classified employee working at Mariloma High School as a nerve engine assistant. It's always an interesting question that people sometimes ask me is it was where are you from, where is your hometown? As a child, we moved around quite a bit. So we moved 10 different times. And Sacramento was where I landed in terms of my under, undergraduate studies with Sacramento State. And since then, Sacramento has been my hometown, even though I'm from so many other different areas. And I'm proud to still be a part of Sacramento in this way and contribute as a leader in San Juan Unified. I used to work in a department where we wrote a lot of grants for specialized programs. One of those specialized programs was the Bridges After School program, and we were able to secure the 21st Century Learning grant and expand an after school program that was originally just at six schools to 21. And so this happened in the early 2000s. So for Bridges After School to still be growing and thriving in San Juan schools, it was a passion project of mine, and it's, a, it's something that I'm incredibly proud to be, have been a part of and to continue to see providing a service for our families and our students. I'm a proud mom of three. Um, they're grown kids now, and so I, I live in Fair Oaks with my husband, and our youngest son still lives with us. All three of our children are graduates of San Juan High Schools, and so we're super proud. There are times where you might see someone that looks like me out in the Sacramento community and you might be a little confused because they may not recognize you and that's because it is my doppelganger, my twin sister, her name is Mindy. Um, she's my best friend. We enjoy bringing our families together quite often. So when I think about the things that I like to do, first and foremost, it's spend time with my family. That's what just brings me energy. It's just really being with my family outside of my family. I am an avid reader. There are lots of different kinds of books that I love to read. In addition, lots of staff will tell you that I really enjoy a picture book. And so picture books are a passion of mine. I think they tell a strong story no matter how old you are. It's something that I still will buy my grown children. And um, one day I hope to give them to grandchildren as well. I have so many memories that are just kind of collected in my heart, so to say. The ability to interact with students that I had in elementary school, um, where I was either a vice principal or principal, and knowing them when they were young kids and interacting with them, whether it's inspiring them around um, ideas or things that they wanted to explore or having conversations, um, being able to see those kids grow into these amazing young adults where they are contributing just as active members of our schools and high schools has been an absolute joy. Something that I had no idea that I would treasure so much is high school graduation. Being up on that stage and watching our students graduate and students that I had at my former schools, seeing them walk is something that I wish I could bottle up and take with me forever. I started the deputy superintendent job in July 2019, and we all know what happened in March 2020. Being a part of a new position going through the pandemic was probably one of my greatest challenges and also a great opportunity. It really pushed me to lean into the partnership and support of others. There was a lot of uncertainty during the pandemic, and new territory, not knowing where we were going. 
And also there were increased demands in terms of all the one-time monies that were coming to school districts and the expectations that districts would complete plans with a matter of weeks and get them board approved and turn them in. And just seeing what we were able to accomplish in terms of build, creating and building a new system during that time and also meeting the requirements and the demands that were made of us from outside entities, I'm really proud of the way that we came together in order to meet that moment. What I want our community to know is that we care, I care. When we hear from you, we do better. We care about what you have to say and what you think and what your hopes and dreams are for our district. So we value voice, we value feedback, and we can't do our work without that. So my primary goal as superintendent is to not only help support the transition in leadership, we have a lot of transitions. Just beyond me being new in this role, we have three new trustees um, to our Board of Education. And so my hope is to support our system in navigating this time of change and transition so that we can continue to build on the strengths of San Juan, but also recognize those opportunities for improvement and growth and being able to be really focused and clear on those so that we can make improvements so that that then trickles down to our students.